everybody it's Brooke welcome back to another video in this video this is my second round of trying to dye some sock blanks and I definitely achieved a lot more success than in my first round and you can check out that video on my channel it's called sock how to dye a sock blank fail so in this video I will be dyeing the first sock blank in the image of a tulip field which I just pulled from Google Images. I just googled tulip field and was really inspired by this image that showed some from overhead and it showed the roads and it had uh, multiple different colors. So that's what I use to guide the, the layout and also the color scheme of what I'm working on. What you see me doing right now is I mixed some Jacquard Resist which is a tool commonly used in silk painting but what it is is a thick uh, acidic liquid and you can add you can tint it with dye which is what you see that I've done there and also add a little bit water to control the viscosity so in the case of the sock blank because you need to get the the resist if you're using dye either whether it's to protect it or to use it to dye the yarn. You need to get it around the fiber and it also needs to be able to actually penetrate the yarn which is spun and has multiple fibers going on as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy watching the rest of the process and I'll check back in with you in a second.
All right guys, here you see the sock blank all dyed up. I just added the dye to some more resist and painted the rest of it. And I'm just gonna put some saran wrap on top of it. I initially laid it out with saran wrap underneath it and uh, roll it up and steam it for half an hour and I'll be back with the results. Alright you guys, this is the ultimate question. I was not sure whether res the resist would come out or leave a residue. So here you just see me washing in some kind of warm water with some Yucalan wool wash and seeing how the resist comes out. And as you can see, it definitely comes off very well and so I, I was not concerned about it. I then, after doing this process, soaked it for about 15 minutes and some cool water with wool wash just to get the rest out and any residual dye. And so here we go into the second sock blank that I was working on. This one I just wanted a brush stroke effect similar to what I mentioned in the previous video of being inspired by Alma Thomas. And I am making this one teal, navy, and uh, white. And that is so that I can pair it with some teal gray and white and navy yarn for the starting point mystery knit along that's starting on May 12th. It's a pattern that's uh, designed by Hohi Locatelli and I'm really really excited to start doing that, um, doing that knit along and definitely ready to go with it. And I was extremely happy with the results as you can see that there's there is not much pooling going on. A little bit later in the video I tested out what's called a gutta pin, G-U-T-T-A, and that's another word used to describe the resist, but it's a different kind of resist than what I used. And that was a little bit difficult to control. But I was happy with the results with the brush and I did end up brushing on some some letters as well. and I'm here to show you the second round of soft length dyeing, how that turned out. They are a little bit too wet to, um, to unravel for you guys and I may just keep the surprise and knit this one from knit this one from the blank. I'm really incredibly happy with how it turned out and you guys got to see the picture that was sort of my inspiration for my concept and the color scheme and how I applied it. The resist washed right out and the dye, the dye did not go all the way through. So there will be quite a bit of white. It's not going to be as saturated as it looks on this side. And I'm quite okay with that. I am still figuring this process out, but this is incredibly inspiring because it's just like painting and it's um, on yarn and then you get to create something else with it. So that's really cool for me. And then this is the second one, which is upside down. This is the second one and there was a little bit of bleeding. I think I added too much, um, too much water to the navy blue, which you can see here. And then here, I think I just had way too much on there. But, um, but yeah, like I said, learning experience, I'm happy with it. I will, once this one does dry, I will have to unravel it because I'm planning to use it in a project where I only need one strand and I didn't think to ask for a single strand for this one. But I'm so very happy and you can see the, you kept some of the quality of the brush strokes and everything. So yeah, so that that's my uh, sock blank success after my sock blank failure. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll get a not notification every time I upload a video. 
As well, if you'd like to support my channel, please check out my Patreon link down below. A little bit goes a long way towards helping me make more and better videos. I hope you all have a great day and thank you again for watching this video.